Okay guys, welcome back to another plain crazy tutorial. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this combustion engine. Um just just disclaimer, this is only for looks and it doesn't actually work. So basically we're gonna start off it I say it's for decoration doesn't actually work because I kinda cheated here a little, but it still looks good. So yeah, it, it does work up to high speeds, but sometimes this one here glitches out a little. Okay, so basically, I'm going to go into build mode right now. I'm going to move it over to the side here. You don't need the glass, by the way, guys. I'm just saying you should probably add the glass. You, you don't need the glass. It doesn't have to be glass. I just added there because of so, so you can see through it but you do need beams there so the thing can go up and down okay so we want to start off with doing grabbing cylinder 5x5 five five and doing that then what you want to do is build one two three then another one and then so you have a three gap in between then keep doing that four times so one, two, three, four, delete three. One, two, three, four, delete three. And then one, two, three, four, delete three. And then what you gotta do is delete this middle one here. And then, yeah. Now what you wanna do is gonna go into uh, the cog icon, click on motors, or and click on motors and click motor not motor 2 but motor put one there put one the other side and then what you're going to do is go into your um uh scroll down in the cog icon and find anchor block you place that down on either end and then set it to a key that you don't usually press like zero or something and it can be anything just nothing that you cut that you don't usually press you know yeah sure I will do keypad 7 if you're not I'll do yeah keypad 7 keypad 7 do basically do it for both of them okay after you do that what you gotta do is we're gonna go into the motors between here okay so go up to motors again click on motor one well it's not motor one it's just a motor but same thing so basically you gotta place one there um in this orientation i did that wrong sorry about that so like that then you gotta place another one on this side like this okay and now you want to go up here do that and then that no not that that exactly like that and then you want to go over to here to these two this and um, put two in the middle here exactly in this orientation aka rotation so after you do that we're going to place uh go to half blocks in the blocks tab um go out two like this on each side making sure it's connected to to these motors like this go back to the cog icon click on anchored block uh, place two more anchored blocks and then set it to the key that you won't use like you did for the others did I go for this one? no I mean yeah I did okay so after you've done that we're gonna actually build the pistons so what you wanna do is on this motor here you wanna go five up Like that. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Like that. And here as well. Okay, after you've done that, we're gonna do these ones. So go another five up. Yep, there we go. Okay, after you've done that, you're gonna go to one of these two delete this middle block on both of them 
go into the blocks tab, click on blocks, click on block one by 0 .9, uh, 0.9, and make sure the orientation so the gap is right next to this uh, motor here so it doesn't touch. And do the same for this one so the gap isn't touching the thing. Oh, the gap has to touch you. You're not in a Um, So do that. Then what you're gonna do is above these things, you're gonna place, actually no, before we do that, we're gonna do the customization. So, we're gonna start from this side and go that way. Uh, you can pause the video anytime, but I'll give you five seconds to copy this. Okay, and then we're gonna go over to this one right here. Okay, and then we're gonna go to this one, but this one is the same as this one. So you just copy that over from this one. And this one is the same as this one. And then this one is the same as this one. And then this one, you just need to copy this one and then put it in there and then just change the letters around. And then same for this one. If you copy this one, go to this one and do that. This one is just, just turn the power. Okay, and that's that done. That's all the configurations done. Now we just need to add the glass and the piston heads. Okay, so above these you're gonna do a lower plus symbol above all these on top of them so make sure you don't like do it on the side here you have to do it above them on all of them okay and then after that you're gonna go to the block icon again and click on wedges 2 and then go down to round wedge out and then you're gonna do this to the plus icons making them round you can keep it like this or extend it but what I like to do is to add like little spikes on like that it looks better and you gotta do basically like that okay how do you do that we need to delete these blocks in this exact pattern like that but remember, just leave this block here on every single one. Like that. And like that. I'm wondering why we put those blocks there in the first place, just so we could build, put the uh, rounded wedges there. And then basically what you want to do is go to half blocks and then do this. So the gap is facing inwards. And the actual thing is facing outwards. So you do that for all of them, just just like so. And then what you want to do is go to the cog icon, click on motors, click on normal mo the normal motor. Okay, just the motor. Put it down. Make sure it's unpowered. Or you just yeah, to save some time, you just go up here if the motor is selected. Then you do that. Um, and then just place them for all of them if you do this method. So make sure they're all powered off, these ones. Okay, and now onto the glass building time. Basically, what you want to do is grab the beam 1x7, and you've got to go to that, like. one below that hold on yeah this height but make sure you leave ga gaps in the middle of these so it's like this so this half wedge not half wedge uh, half block isn't touching 
these and obviously the round thing the round wedges are there so it doesn't touch this okay so you just got to keep doing that all the way across I'm just going to quickly do this like this and I'll delete them when uh, delete the them near the next to the gap in a second or where the half blocks are okay so let me do the half block thing do that do that do that do that do that do that and that and that okay and then what you want to do is you want to grab a beam one by four do that and then that or you just need to connect them them two and then you gotta connect it like that then you got to add a anchored block just saying these anchored blocks can, can just be normal blocks but it has to all be connected as one okay so you place an anchor block there and use your uh, selected uh, key that you use the other anchor blocks and then I'm just gonna set this to glass probably because it's for decoration anyways it's probably better to set it to glass okay nearly finished oh wait yeah 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 but um as we're on glass right now we need to Set it to the glass. Can I go to glass? Okay, there we go. We need to connect all these first. I forgot about that. Okay. Now, once we've done that, we can just do it right now. As you can see, if I press W, it's like, like that. And if you want to change the speed of it, like slow it or make it slow it down or make it faster, you need to change this what this one speed to, uh, to the exact same. You need to make all these the exact same speed as you want it. So if I set this to 15, you have to set this one to 15. This one here, this one to 15, and this one here to 15 then see exactly like that it usually doesn't break this one sometimes glitches out though okay, and then you have it perfect perfect tutorial I'll show it off right now as you can see Two good combustion engines right here. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.